Hallelujah. Oh, there we go. Um, so what just happened there is that's Shadow and her little cub. Now her little cub is very, very nervous still. She's not very relaxed. When, sorry, I just need to get to Mike. Mike, just Mike. Sorry. That young cub is very skittish of your car. I think, can you come and park here on this side and then look from an angle if that's all right? Um, if she, she's just run into the thicket over there. You won't see her. Sorry, I just wanted to help Mike out because you can see that the mom's a little bit distressed that a little cub has gone darting off into the bushes. And it's going to take some time for Shadow's little girl to relax. Now, Aubrey and I just stopped. We've obviously we parked quite a distance away from her, at least 25 meters or so. Actually, even a bit more, maybe closer to 30, 35 meters away from her. And we want to give her a bit of room. Shadow's fine. She doesn't mind the cars at all. You can go off-roading right next to her. Let's see if we can hear her calling her little one back. It's coming back very, very slowly. It's on its way back. Now, what we're going to do is we're just going to sit quietly. It's walking in the long grass. But it's, again, it's just very sensitive still. It's going to take some time. I don't know how much experience she's actually had around the cars either. And we're very lucky to have leopards so relaxed like we do in the Sabi sand. Oh, Shadow, you are actually a beautiful leopard. I really like her. I'm just, here's, there's a little cub just on the other side of that shrub. We're going to see it pop out. Just look behind her. There we go. There it is. There it is popping out just behind her. Hello, little one. Very, very sweet. So now, now it's going to be important. We need to try and follow, follow where Shadow goes, but we can't off-road right behind her. We're going to have to be super careful, super cautious, because we want Shadow to stay on the property for as long as possible. And now one thing that can happen is that she's on her way towards the boundary. She's probably going to cross out by the looks of it if she's moving at such a pace already. Is she's going to pop out again, Craig? She might just pop out on the edge there. She, there he is, she is. You're going to see the antenna. Now, like I said, so what we're going to do is we'll just have to try and, well, what we will do is we'll just try and watch from the edge. You can see the little cub moving around there. But we don't want to get too close and cause too much distress. This is new territory for Shadow as well. She has been spending quite a bit of time here. It's very exciting. And I just hope we keep these interactions positive. And eventually that little one will take a couple of weeks, maybe even a few months of being spotted regularly and spending time with the cars. But as long as each experience is a positive one, that is what we need to happen. Right, let's move. Let me quickly pull out the way just so Aubrey can go past. And then we'll turn around. And then we will try again. But very, very skittish. Um, I think, did you say a new viewer? It's just, we're going to settle. We're going to let these cars all move around. And then once they've moved away, then we'll, then we'll keep going. Um, sorry, Chantal, did you say a, a, a new viewer? I couldn't quite get the first words. Vushan, you've said, um, right, let me just go back there. Zushan, I think. I'm so sorry. I'm having terrible trouble trying to hear Chantal this afternoon. And, um... Okay, let's carry on. Let's see if we can find this leopard. But, um... The question was, I'm so sorry about that, I can't copy Chantal this afternoon. I don't know why we have a, maybe it's interference, maybe with the hot weather, the wind could have a lot to do with it, of course. Um, and the, But the question was, has Shadow's little girl been named yet? No, no, not yet. Um, she's sort of coming to the age, so I'm not sure who is going to name her. Because as far as I'm aware, she was found on Arethusa's property. So it will be there a decision to name them. So we're just going to have to just wait and see. They're just down straight ahead, Craig. Can you see them walking down the road? There they are. So we'll just watch, watch them disappear. And this is great. The little one is going to get used to the car stopping and starting. So it's actually good that they're a little bit on the move. Um, and I think that was the noise that it was worried about in the beginning. But the more often that it gets the opportunity to hear those cars going on and off and driving over the odd stick or over leaves, it's going to desensitize her a lot quicker. And that's how you habituate leopards. It's, it's not a process that happens straight away. 
It's most certainly um, a process that takes quite some time. Just gonna go back for orbs, just a little bit. And we'll follow him. Let's go through. We're just gonna do this. We're sort of just gonna stick to the roads for as, up, well, for as long as we can. And get nice and dusty, but it's okay. This type, I don't mind getting dusty, especially if we are following left. Maybe they're gonna be kind enough to stop it for a drink at the pan. They're still just ahead. They're approaching the Shubamu pans. They're not too far off. Who knows, there's those Impala, those Impala rams were hanging around there. There's often warthogs and things. Mongoose, dwarf mongoose. I want to give Mike a chance to have a view. But maybe we can somehow squeeze down there. It's gonna to be tough, but of course, we want everybody to have a chance and to have a look. Oh, there goes a little cub running back out onto the road. Ah, oh, they've just disappeared around the corner, unfortunately. So we're just gonna to have to be patient, of course. Like I said, you can just see them disappearing behind the, the sticks there. There we go. So this is quite nice. So let's keep an eye out. We're also gonna keep an ear out to see if we can maybe hear those impala. I have just heard the southern ground hornbills calling, so that's quite nice. They're one of my, the most enjoyable birds to sit and watch. So we might be seeing them too. I actually saw them on my run this afternoon. They're somewhere in here. So that's something we'll also be doing. If Shadow does cross out, we'll go and look for those hornbills. I know none of you will complain to see southern ground hornbills. It'd be something quite special. After you, sir. Right. We'll let these guys go. And then we'll take the next opportunity to go in front. We'll grab that one. Just because we had a nice view in the middle of the road. And then we will carry on. Let's keep going. The first time I've seen that little girl, she's precious. She is so beautiful. Maybe they're also going to settle down. If they settle down in the road, it will help hopefully be able to pull off and fit three vehicles. Mm, it's a bit tough. They've gone around the corner now. I don't think we're going to get a gap just yet, so we're just going to have to do... We're going to pretend we'll be the green minis this afternoon. We'll sort of follow this windy road until we get an opportunity to have a look at those beautiful cats again. But of course, this is safaris for you. You've got to not always get to spend uh, an entire two hours on a sighting all by yourselves. We've been spoiled sometimes. The northern Sabi sands, or the entire Sabi sand can be quite busy. But of course, we limit the amount of vehicles that we allow in a sighting. Right. I don't know, Craig, if you can see them just going down the corner. We'll just have to watch like this, like I said. And you see the little one keeps ducking in and out of the long grass and out towards Mom. And I think Shadow's doing a good job. I think it's quite exciting to see what's going to happen over the next few months. Here she gets just popping out one last time. Let's hope that they stop for a drink at the pans. That would be ideal if she would. And she will be looking for something else to eat. There wasn't much left on that day cut, so she could quite easily catch something else. Now, Jack, mom, you're wondering. She must be about six months old now or so. Hi there, sorry, I'm live. Um, sorry, there's lots and lots and lots of very excited people to see us. But when we are off air. Right, it seems as though there's a couple of gremlins out and about. I'm going to send you back across to Ali and hopefully we'll find some signal.